Hi guys, Michael from Team Shift behind the camera here today with Carl Ross Walker. Carl's here today showing us an interesting take on uh, on an Orcus deck list. So, uh, what's so interesting about it, Carl? Uh, so it's basically just built up of a lot of smaller engines. Um, so I think there's maybe five engines in this today. So uh, instead of doing it, um, you know, monster spell trap, I'm just going to be going through all the different engines and explaining what they do. Um, and then at the end of it, I'll show you. Um, some small combos as to what to do with each of these different engines. Sounds great. Cool. So to start off with, we have three Geasu. Um, Heart and Solar deck doesn't really need any introductions. Uh, two Nightmares. So because of the amount of different engines, uh, we can afford to cut down on these a little more. Um, we have the one symbol, one Bombard, who's now a combo card in the deck. Um, World Wand, um, Gizmek, Honorary Orcust, and then the Babble. Not playing Crescendo because um you you will never go for crescendo turn one anymore it's always to babble and then beyond that you should hopefully be closing out the game from there and so that's the orcusts now we have the um the spirit beasts or the the summoning beasts beckoning beasts um and the gates here so what these do is um this one here searches the contract uh, the opening and then this one here, um, you can get to double summon off of this. So both of these search one another or this. And the idea of this engine is to summon Curious, so you can uh, send some of your other cards like Plague to get into the combos, uh, to use like Lincross, Marcher. Um, but you can also use these to send Orcus pieces like Nightmare if you need to. From there now, we obviously with the reintroduction of a Bardish, um, is Bardish right? Yeah, Bardish. Yeah, I'll just cut that part. Yeah. Um, with the reintroduction of Bardish, we now have the Phantom Knights back in the deck. Um, so a bit of an increased lineup for this in this deck. Um, I've increased this to two. Normally I'd play a much less um, heavy build um, as well with the second Fog Blade. Um, but if you draw this, it's very hard to get through to like the full end boards. Um, so yeah, obviously using this to summon um, True King of All Calamities off your Dingirsu. And then obviously having the Fog Blades as well as backup. Now on from there we have Lamia and three contracts. What these do is obviously just get straight into Needle Fibre. Um, with Jet obviously being banned now, it's just looking to alternative ways to get into combos with those. Um, a few more Dark Extenders here. We have Magician Souls and obviously Illusion as well. Um, with playing the uh, the openings like these, they just stay on the foot, on the board like once you've used them. So these are a great way to get extra draw power within the deck, um, as well as obviously just being a dark extender to make Bardish with, or even later on to use with Dingirsu to make your IP at the end. And then opening multiple contracts as well with the Lamia. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. a lot more like um, bricky things as well, especially with like the Fog Blade as well. Like you can get rid of those if they lay dead on the field um, to be able to bring back some new PKs for combos. Um, the Plague Spreader now, this is just like one of the targets other than uh, Bombard or um, Lamia for uh, for Needle Fibre. This one however is one of the things that we send off of Curious to help further the combos. Um, and then just good cards for the deck. So Upstart, just to increase consistency, is a 40 card deck, so I just wanted it a little bit more consistent. Reborn, obviously more extenders. Foolish, it's Orcus, you want them in the grave. And then one for one is good for a couple of things like Bombard or Lamia, as mentioned before. Also Souls as well. And then three Allure. Because of the reduced count of Orcusts, no longer really looking to play uh, Orchestrate Return. So instead, because it's mainly dark, we just go straight for Allures now. Cool. All right, so onto the extra deck. Yep. So because of the um, the Chaos Beasts, you need to run Link Rebo and Relinquished Anima. So to make your Curious, you'll have a Fiend, a Cyburst, and Spellcaster. Again, just off of that small engine. So they're all part of that. We have Link Cross, uh, Needle Fiber, Marcher. Again, they're like the extenders once you've gone through the Curious uh, to furthering the plays. Then we have, obviously, Bardish again, um, just such a powerhouse for the deck. Uh, it doesn't really need much explanation. 
Then we have some of the like ending board stuff. So we have Blusa, IP, and then because of the IP, we've also got Unicorn as well, just utility cards. Um, and then we have the Orcus cards. I uh, had to cut down to two Gala and no um, Long Gear Sue, just because of space reasons. But I've not found that I really needed the, the third Galatea here, so that's been fine. And then obviously the ending board of uh, True King of All Calamities, which you get to alongside most of the time uh, Appaloosa, IP, and like Dingsen, Bardish, Fogblade, stuff like that. Cool, that looks great. So we'll head on to uh, some combos to see what the deck can do. So this is the um, either the Gates or the Beckoning Beast. If you open either of these, um, both search one another. So just for example, we're going to use this one. Uh, if you open just this and like no other extenders or anything, um, you get to Appaloosa for three, Bardish, Fogblade, and quite a bit of Grave setup. So um, any sort of top decks that help you access that would be obviously beneficial for the following turns. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to move the hand over this side. Uh, start off with the, the Spirit Gates, searches you the Dark Beckoning Beast. This on summon allows you to search for another one that mentions, um, I believe it's Uriah, Raviel and Hamon in the card text. Uh, so you're just going to grab the Chaos Summoning Beast. This allows you to double summon for um, cards that list it. So you're just going to summon this out here. And then your one you're going to put into, into a Link Creeper. And then this, you can discard it to summon back the one from Grave, so I'm just going to do that now. And then again, this level one, I'm just going to go back to the graveyard to summon out Relinquished Anima. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you now have a Cyber, Spellcaster, and Fiend. So we're just going to put those into our Curious. Curious is then going to mill Plague Spreader, and obviously three other cards as well. Um, I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this video. Then after we've done this, our Curious goes into our Linkross. I'm going to summon out three tokens with this. And then we're going to use the Plague Spreader in our Grave. Just put a card back on top of the deck um, to resummon itself. Now here, the Plague Spreader, banish that and the get rid of the Linkross for our Hulk Fibrax, who's going to summon out our Bombard. Now Bombard and two of the tokens are going to go into our Metal Marcher. The Metal Marcher is going to resummon back the Bombard. From here, these two are going to go off Link Summoning Galatea. And then with the token, we're going to tribute that off for our Link Creeper. And then here we have our Darks for our Bardish. Bardish effect. I'm going to send Cloak to set Brigandine. Then we're going to banish our Cloak to search for Boots. Boots then going to special summon. We're also going to special summon our Brigandine. And then Link 4 into Appaloosa. And then Boots effect is going to search us for our Fog Blade. So this is the same sort of curious combo, but we've got a few extenders this time. So for this, I'm just going to use Symbol and Magician Souls. So, I'm just going to move those down a bit. So again, start with Spirit Gates, add our Dark Beckoning Beast. This one adds the Chaos Beast, summon that. Again, very similar to the first one. I'm going to summon out our Link Ross, uh, sorry, our Link Rebo. Uh, discard the symbol for this. Use that one for our Anima. Those three, I'm just move that down slightly. Back into Curious. Once again, sending Plague. Um, again, I'm not going to build three, but hoping that we don't mill Babel or our uh, Rank Up Magic for this. Um, very similar again. I'm going to summon by putting this back. And then our Link Cross. And then into. Needle fiber again. Again, very similar to the first one for now. Move the marcher to resum. And then these two Galatea. And this goes away again for our Link Reba. And 
make the varnish again and then send to set vanish to search and then we are back into the same position we were last time however now with the magician's souls We can obviously get rid of this and get a draw as well. I'm um, not going to do that right now, but you can. Um, and then we're going to use the symbol earlier to summon out our Galatea. You could also use the Bombard to summon out the, the symbol from hand. Um, that's something you could have done as well. Um, and then um, Galatea effect, put some in back, get the bubble out, and then overlay this now for Dungiasu, grab this back, and link to for our IP, and then last but not least, we're going to banish the boots. Search for the, ooh, the rank of magic. So now, um, obviously, you can set this, and then in your opponent's turn, you get to symbol, re summon the Dingusu. You can either summon it here and send um, for this and pop with this, or you can save that. Um, use the rank of magic, turning the Dingusu into a Calamities. And then, obviously, you have Calamities. Uh, Appaloosa and IP as well, and then um, if they try an impermanence or anything on the Calamities, you can use the IP, chain it to, you know, keep, take it off the board. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, something a little bit different, obviously going through Curious this time instead. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Cheers, guys.